If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha, our keto friends. What are we making today? Ice cream. And not just any ice cream. We are making protein sparing ice cream. Do you know what protein sparing means? No. It's kind of a silly term, but protein sparing is sparing your muscles from being burned. So you're getting basically all protein, very little fat, and almost pretty much zero carbohydrates. <laughs> Sounds good? This ice cream is low in calories, very low in fat, absolutely delicious. It's creamy. If you're doing a protein sparing day, this is gonna satisfy your sweet tooth. It's really, really delicious. You'd have your mind blown. People that haven't been losing weight for years on keto, on traditional keto ratios, they try our calculator and add in two or three protein sparing days a week, and they are breaking stalls, feeling great, reversing insulin resistance, it's all good. Um, but we're gonna start with, Kai's gonna do this. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I scrambled 10 egg whites. If you don't wanna scramble them, you could make them in the microwave if you use the microwave. But I scrambled them, put them in the blender, all of them. Try to keep it in the blender, right? Yikes! Okay, and then we're going to add three-fourths of a cup of unsweetened almond milk. So we have that right here for you, Kai. Try to make it in there. Um, and if you don't do nuts, you could use unsweetened hemp milk. You could use the unsweetened coconut milk in the, ca the carton like this, not the can, because that would be uh, not a protein sparing day. And then we're going to add a half a cup of allulose. Allulose keeps ice cream soft, and that's why we want to use that instead of uh, like erythritol. I've just made my protein sparing with some stevia glycerite. If you just want to add a few, ooh, sorry buddy, a few drops of stevia, you could do that. But allulose will keep it softer. We're going to add unsweetened cocoa powder. Make sure it's unsweetened. There you go. And we're going to add vanilla. Good job. We're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, kind of like a Mexican vanilla, so just add a little sprinkle of that. <laughs> you don't want cinnamon in there? There you go, that's good. And salt is also important, especially when doing protein sparing days, it's gonna give you energy, it's gonna help you from constipation. And salt is a flavor, oh, that's good. Salt is a flavor enhancer. Always add it to desserts because you use less sweetener then. Put the cover on, and then we're gonna turn it on. Let's see. Push play. Now, the better your blender, the more creamy your pudding, so this is pudding, um, is going to be. But let's take the cover off, Kai, and we're going to make it into ice cream. Now, this is my beloved ice cream maker. Look, I have duct tape on it. I probably should get a new one, but it works. I'm all about keeping stuff that works, so I'm going to put my ice cream thing together. I love my gadgets, so let's turn this on and pour that all in. I have this spatula here. Now, you could taste it and make sure that it's sweet enough for you. Add a little bit more cinnamon or cocoa powder or vanilla, whatever you want. But we have that on in there. Make sure your egg whites are chilled, not hot when you put it in there, okay? I chilled them in the fridge. And you're just gonna watch this churn. And the cool thing is, I'm gonna move this aside, okay, buddy? I have some ice cream already made for you to try. You wanna get a spoon? Yeah. Okay, so I already have some ice cream done. Okay. So you can try it. I think you're gonna like it. So let's scoop this out. There we go. And a lot of times, keto ice cream can get really hard. It doesn't get hard if you use allulose, okay? So scoop that on in there. Let us know what you think. I bet you're gonna love it. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. is that good? See, even a kid likes it. There's no, it's dairy free. It's delicious, mm. low fat, ketogenic. Protein sparing. Yeah. What do you want to say? Cook with your kids. Mahalo, everybody. Mahalo. And remember, the full recipe is in the link below. Yeah. If you want to change your life, like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. 
I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me and personal help with supplements or modifications if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.